Hello friends, uh, a very warm welcome to my YouTube channel, uh, Technical Sadiq. Uh, as promised that we are going to uh, prepare series of videos on the optical fiber losses in the optical uh, fiber cable. So we discussed two of them. Uh, the first one, as I told you guys, was the splice loss. The splice loss is because of the splicing. So the splicing can be uh, mechanical splice, the splicing can be fusion splice. So as I told you that fusion splice is uh, not too much. I mean it's actually uh, controllable. Sometimes even OTDR is not able to detect that fusion splice because the technology has uh, you know uh, improved so much that even the OTDR cannot detect that splice. That means that that is even below 0 0.01 which is Less, which is which is actually 0.01 dB above the uh, 0.00 splice loss. So uh, let's discuss the second one. The second one I told you was actually the uh, dB per kilometer loss inside the optical fiber cable. So the dB per kilometer loss is actually the loss inside the optical fiber cable at every kilometers. As I told you that this is unavoidable. I mean somehow it is intrinsic inside the optical fiber cable so even you don't have splices even you don't have microbands you have nothing but what happens you will be having these db per kilometer losses and this is actually defined by the manufacturers i mean i have seen the different vendors uh, as i told you before that that is about 0. Uh, 0.18 db which is not too much so <clears throat> we were supposed to discuss that how to uh, keep this value as per the company's standard how to make sure that this value uh, do not increase so the db per kilometer loss friends if you want to keep it as per company's standard if you don't want to increase it please make sure to take care of the cable while uh, blowing the optical fiber cable while uh, you know uh, pulling it while blowing it this is very important for example most of the people they do not care sometimes the conduits are blocked sometimes the conduits have lots of twists so what they do, do they actually uh, forcefully blow the optical fiber cable so as a result what happens the optical fiber cable is compressed so when it is compressed some of the fibers uh, db per kilometer loss increases so the company says that this is the optical fiber loss db per kilometer which i have prepared they even actually test for each fiber if you have 96 core cable they will check for each fiber i mean they will check 96 fibers and will uh, separately give you the values even sometimes they deviate sometimes they uh, differ from one another for example there are some fibers which has 0 0.18 some fibers 0 0.19 some fibers 0 0.17 so they actually define it and whenever you buy a drum of optical fiber cable they will give you know a checklist with that and all the values are defined there so if you want to make sure that these values do not deviate from the one which is provided by the vendor so you will have to take lots of care while pulling the optical fiber cable while blowing it you have to handle it with care i mean if it is compressed so this db per kilometer value will increase right and uh, how you will come to know that whether it has increased or it hasn't increased uh, the very basic tool for it as i have told you is the optical time domain reflectometer you will get to know about its value db per kilometer at every section uh, with the help of ottr and practically how we will do that i will make another video on that Mm, which will be link loss budget in link loss budget what will we do we will actually use the optical power meter we will measure the loss power inside the optical fiber cable uh, from source to the destination and then we will practically see that how much power we are losing and we will calculate that whether it's both or both of them are equal or it differs the practical value of the losses should be lesser than the calculated value of the losses so that's all so these you know uh, will deviate if you do not care properly with the fiber optical fiber in the field 
while blowing it, while installing it, while pulling it. So lots of care needs to be taken. So that was all about the video for today. I will see you in the new video. Uh, yes, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, please give it a thumb up. If you do not like, please give a dislike uh, uh, so that uh, some improvement should be brought inside the videos. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Have a good day.